Section 1 of the Douay Reims New Testament. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by James Carson. Douay Reims New Testament. Section 1. The Holy Bible. Translated from the Latin Vulgate. Diligently compared with the Hebrew, Greek, and other editions in diverse languages. The Old Testament, first published by the English College at Douay, A.D. 1609 and 1610, and the New Testament, first published by the English College at Rheims, A.D. 1582, with annotations. The whole revised and diligently compared with the Latin Vulgate by Bishop Richard Challoner, A.D. 1749 to 1752. Volume 3. The New Testament of Our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. History. This three-volume e-text set comes from multiple editions of Challoner's revised Douay Reims version of the Holy Bible. The division of the Old Testaments into two parts follows the two-tome format of the 1609-1610 printing of the Old Testament. In 1568, English exiles, many from Oxford, established the English College of Douay, Douay or Douay, Flanders, under William, later Cardinal Allen. In October 1578, Gregory Martin began the work of preparing an English translation of the Bible for Catholic readers, the first such translation into modern English. Assisting were William Allen, Richard Bristow, Thomas Worthington, and William Reynolds, who revised, criticized, and corrected Dr. Martin's work. The college published the New Testament at Reims, Reims or Rems, France, in 1582, through John Fogney, with a preface and explanatory notes, authored chiefly by Bristol, Allen, and Worthington. Later the Old Testament was published at Douay in two parts, 1609 and 1610, by Lawrence Kellum, through the efforts of Dr. Worthington, then superior of the seminary. The translation had been prepared before the appearance of the New Testament, but the publication was delayed due to financial difficulties. The religious and scholarly adherence to the Latin Vulgate text led to the less elegant and idiomatic words and phrases often found in the translation, in some instances where no English word conveyed the full meaning of the Latin. A Latin word was anglicized and its meaning defined in a glossary. Although ridiculed by critics, many of these words later found common usage in the English language. Spellings of proper names and the numbering of the Psalms are adopted from the Latin Vulgate. In 1749, Dr. Richard Challoner began a major revision of the Douay and Reims texts, the spellings and phrasings of which had become increasingly archaic in the almost two centuries since the translations were first produced. He modernized the diction and introduced a more fluid style, while faithfully maintaining the accuracy of Dr. Martin's texts. This revision became the de facto standard text for English-speaking Catholics until the 20th century. It is still highly regarded by many for its style, although it is now rarely used for liturgical purposes. The notes included in this electronic edition are generally attributed to Bishop Challoner. The 1610 printing of the second tome of the Old Testament includes an appendix containing the non-canonical books, Prayer of Manassas, Third Book of Estras, and Fourth Book of Estras. While not part of Challoner's revision, the 1610 texts are placed in the appendices of Volume 2 of this e-text set. Also included are the original texts of two short books, The Prophecy of Abdias, Volume 2, and The Catholic Epistle of Jude the Apostle, 
volume three to give the reader a sense of the language of the first editions in comparison to the challoner revision further background on the douay reims version may be found in a selection from the preface to the fifteen eighty two edition and the original glossary included in the appendices of volume three